I will record. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I will call to order the meeting of the board of directors regular meeting for March twenty fifth, twenty twenty four. We're starting at 5.37 due to technical difficulties. Yeah, Zoom, will you mute it? You need to turn the volume on the iPad down. It is off. as far as it will go. You can't get in. There, that's it. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. Okay. Um, I'll have the secretary <laughs> call the <laughs> roll. Yeah. I'm here. Pete Geiser, here. Dennis O'Driscoll. Here. Matilda Rand. Here. Tom Manheim. Here. Joe Hall. Here. Elizabeth Shaw. David Boras. Go back here. <laughs> Itrea Mazio. Okay. Um, oral. We have a quorum? Five? Yeah. Oral communications. Any person may address the board during its oral communication period. All oral communications must be directed to an item not listed on today's consent or regular agenda and must be within the jurisdiction of the board. Any? Well, there have been many oral communications, but not authorized. Okay. Number three, consideration of late additions to the agenda, additions and deletions to the consent and regular agendas. Seeing none, we'll move to the consent agenda. We have three items approve our meeting agenda, approve the board meeting minutes of February 26, 2024, and accept the February 2024 financial reports as reviewed by the financial committee. Any questions, comments on those items? Tom? Uh, because I wasn't at the last meeting, I will have to abstain on the minutes. Okay. If that could be noted. For yep, those. noted for the record. Mannheim was abstained on regarding the minutes for the consent agenda. Any other questions or comments? Uh, any discussion of the financial reports? We'll be talking about the budget shortly, so we'll get into that. Okay, I will entertain a motion for the consent, to approve the consent agenda. I move the consent agenda. I have a motion by Director O'Driscoll, second. Second. Director Hall, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye with one exception. One, one um, exception on the minutes. minutes. Okay. okay. Regular, Regular agenda. agenda. Executive director. director's report. And I will now mute myself. And Rebecca, you come. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm sorry for the big kerfuffle at the beginning. I'm sorry I forced all you Mac people to figure out a PC, and then it had no camera. <laughs> with me, but I can't get my muffle, so you won't see me, but nobody will miss hearing me. You can't see me either. No, no, you can't see anyone. Just hear them. Um, but but that's good. I mean, at least we have the audio. So um, thank you. Uh, this report that I'm bringing you is for... Uh, can you join me? Can I join you? Oh, you mean, I see you're here. Yes. Yes. Hello. Well, what's going on? Ah, there you go. I think you're... Join his tenants. You're there. You should be good now. All right. Okay, everybody's in. Okay, this is for February, and um, we're going to talk first about revenue in February. Um, well, the co-working center earned $12,550. A really good number for us. So the satellite remains 25.23% ahead of its projected goal. So we're way, we're well ahead, which is really, really nice. And um, uh, our, we have two new government technicians and they have completed their training, are now running meetings on their own. So this is really good for us. Um, we've had a really, it's we've it's been a whole bunch of people left at once. That happens sometimes. People, everybody graduates. Oh my God. And um, Victor uh, has had to train new people, and he's had to do the government some of the government meetings. He's been running the board of supervisors. It's hard to get. It's easy to fill the nighttime slots, but the daytime ones are harder. So, um, but he has that all covered now. So that's a big, a good thing for us. On um, our paid services, we did 15 government meetings in February, and we covered 
uh, the senior council candidate for them. And um, yeah, this morning I learned that we're also gonna cover the artist of the year event. So that's a, that's a nice thing for us to get. Um, I guess we've done that two or three years in a row now. Uh, under facilities and equipment, we've just put the new floor in the kitchen. It's been a long time coming and it finally, finally happened. They came on Saturday and installed it. Um, but this is the February report. <laughs> so for our, our purposes, it'll be installed in March. And um, in studio productions, we have members have been producing shows in the studio in February. Uh, there was only one, usually they've been doing two and one of them usually always is on uh, first Friday. So that's always nice. We have a lot of people in the studio and people in the front as well, which is very fun. And uh, we did that. The studio was rented for three different professional shoots as well. Um, and we have a, a production coming in April. Uh, under outreach. Let me interject. Um, huh? I will note that director Elizabeth has joined us. Oh, um, yes, there she is. Yay, How nice. did you get in? <laughs> okay. Welcome. Great. Okay, um, let's see. The next thing is, oh, outreach. Uh, we did a program for the Resource Center for Nonviolence, and UCSC is taking them a while to figure out a way, but they are going to share sports content with us. And they might not be, we're not sure, and they're not sure if they can sh share games because of the NCAA. I had no idea that they would be in that division, but apparently they it's are. All, it's division three, it's all yeah. NCAA. Yeah. Oh, it's sports. just the, yeah. Yeah, they're in division three. They're in three, division so three, okay. NCAA has a big heavy hand. Yes, they do. I, I didn't even think about that, but they, they are probably not gonna let us have any games, but we, um, but they do have other things. They have, they have talks and sports, other sports things that we can have, they're not games. So uh, Victor's gonna be working with them with that. I think we're gonna upload their basketball banquet. So that should be really fun. And that nice thing about it, I think, is, um, you know, students come to UCSC from Santa Cruz, of course, but they also come from all over the country to come here. And now if they do their basketball banquet, their grandma in Dubuque could see them because we're on um, streaming networks. So they can watch on Roku or Apple or or um, what's the third one? Amazon Fire. So it's very exciting. I think it's really cool. We can connect. And the same thing with our high school um, kids at Watsonville High School, they have a studio grant, and now the things that they do, their relatives, no matter where they are, can see them. If they have streaming, I guess there is that one one thing, but it's exciting to know they can get out of town. <laughs> um, we had our first Friday event in February, and we'll have another one in March. Nice turnout. The artist was really good. She brought a lot of people. She had a good list of um, friends and family and and uh, just clients that buy her art. And they came and it was a nice full house and we got people looking at offices and just going, oh, I didn't know this was here. So including some producers. So that was nice. Sure. And um, we'll, we'll keep doing that. It's paying off for us. It's a good thing. And it allows us to meet new people and for new people to see what we have to offer, both the co-working and the, the TV. And usually it's been nice. There's been something going on in the studio. So if they are here early enough, they get to peek in and see them setting up. Um, let's see. Uh, we have uh, well, we have first Friday scheduled through June. We won't do one in July because so many people will be out of town and um, we are closed the first Friday in June and July. So that's my, that is my report for February. Great. Um, any questions, comments, observations? Thank you. Let's see, let me get my agenda. I just joined. Oh, Let me mute. He's in. He's in. Okay, I'm seeing on my attendee list. He's. I'm looking at him. Okay, I see. I see him here in the panelists. There he is. Okay. 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 Um, okay. We have uh, item number eight. This is an action item to review and approve the community television budget fiscal year 2024. 2025. Um, Jill. I just wanted to, before Becca starts up, to explain a little of what happened procedurally.
Hopefully we're taking care of your sound on uh, your audio a little bit. Anyhow, uh, I just want to do that as a prelude to Becca's review of it. And one thing that is noticeable is the investment we have in Schwab in the government T-bills is, is giving us some flexibility we haven't had, you know, for many years. So those are kind of the uh, more financial resources because we're earning a fair amount of interest right now on a monthly basis. So if we had to adjust things before, a lot of times it was adjusted by taking something from here to move it to there. Now we may have to still do that, but we do have this extra cushion of financing that we haven't had for basically a long time. So that was kind of one of the biggest things I saw. And I just wanted to ask Keith or Tom if you have any comments. I'm done with mine and I'm going to mute myself now. Um, but uh, Tom, why don't you go ahead if you have any comments. The only thing I would mention just so that it's not confusing. Yes, I'm unmuted. Um, just so that it's not confusing to anybody the on the budget that um, we have in the packet, that second col column, which is labeled actuals year to date, it's actually a projected actuals year to date because um, what we did is we looked at where we were in February or in January, did the math to say, well, if we kept at that rate, where will we be by the end of the year? So I just wanted to clarify that. And I'm just going to note for Elizabeth, we're operating under kind of funny circumstances here. The normal OWL that we use for the Zoom isn't working. So we're all on individual laptops, some with cameras, some without. We're muting selectively and turning off sound so we don't get all this feedback. So that's why we're jumping on and off. But it seems to be working pretty well. And you can hear us now. So I'm going to go mute. Yeah. Um, no, I don't really have comments. I think it was a, it was a great meeting. It was a very thorough look at the budget. Um, I guess I'll have um, Becca maybe give an overview and then if there are particular questions. Um, but we, yeah, we kind of tore it up and put it back together a little bit there. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a, a good solid budget. It's got room for growth. Um, it's got, as Joe said, it's got um, a little bit of... Um, wiggle room, I guess, from our investments, which is nice, a nice thing to have, particularly for the operating expenses. Um, so with that, I'll- Question? Yes, please. Before you start. So what we got in our packet is what you guys worked on. You. So I actually brought you a, another- in this thing, this thing. So whatever we got in our packet is what you all yeah. massaged yeah. and yeah, then I, I did the paperwork. Good. So we had, we had ideas and other things to change, and some people thought you know, different thoughts. And this is this is the capital budget with the oh well okay. Um, I have a oh uh, there was a I'm not good at Excel, <laughs> so I have to be careful. And there were a whole bunch of uh, formulas I had to put together to make this third budget, the draft budget and the approved budget, and uh, um, the, um, oh, you know what? I'll just interject here right now that we didn't really tear it apart. I mean, it was a, it was a fine budget. It was just, yeah. we looked at it pretty thoroughly and, you know, and, um, fixed a couple of things, but it, it's not like we, yeah, massage. Yeah. It was a nice, yeah. it was a Reiki massage. Well, it's a really good thing to do because it's, if I do it all by myself and no one else looks at it, I can make a mistake. And I did, I couldn't figure out what. I had the I had this really wonderful number of co-working place and we, it would have been fabulous. But um I had jotted down all these calculations and I pit and I pulled this number and did the calculation and um it gave us a giant budget and I I was fine with that. And later Tom was like, Well, that seems like a big jump. And he was right. And when I went back, I found I was like, Oh, there's this little number I wrote here and I used it. And it was in a list of other numbers, and it was not the number for this. But so it was a there's a calculation calculation we use, we take where we are, whatever month we're looking at, we know year to date from Mel and we divide it by that number of that month in our budget in our year. And then we know what's left and we divide by that number and multiply by 12 and Shazam, you have the monthly number and then off you go. But um, I, I, just just wanted wanted to, to, I, I got, got us a great, a great, great fabulous, fabulous start, start, but the, the real, real number is still, still very good. good. Uh, uh, one, one thing, thing also, just uh, when you were mentioning, 
uh, asking about the Schwab income. If you go to line, uh, and there it is, 4185, miscellaneous income. It's a little bit difficult to fathom what that is, but that's the Schwab interest income for a year. Yeah, and there were a lot of other little things we clarified. Uh, I'll let Becca go through all that. There's no reason for you to hear it from two Okay, I'll just point out the things I think that might catch your eye, and then you can ask me any questions that you want. So um, we're looking at the sharing your screen. I could. Would that be a good idea? Um, let's see. um I, I don't know. I was thinking you guys had hard copies, but I'll share because that'll be easy. Have, Multiple panelists can share. Well, I'm gonna. Okay, I guess that's me. Share my screen. It is this so easy. So there you have it. Do you guys see it? Uh -huh. Just the. I only see the top three uh, lines. Oh, that's because uh this. There. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Much better. I need to drag it. So you see it, Matilda? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, starting at the top, that you can see the county. This is an interesting thing. And tell me if I'm telling you too much. Things you don't care to know. But um, the. Board of Supervisors and the City of Santa Cruz, uh, City of Santa Cruz. Well, let's start with the Board of Supervisors because they're there at the top. And we projected what we would make with them, and it turned out to be a little different because there's we just never know. Sometimes they have more meetings than we think. They go longer, depends on who running them, or they're shorter. So it they're up, they're up, they're ahead. They they did way more than we thought they would. On the other hand, the city of Santa Cruz way less. <laughs> so so that these numbers for for government meetings are either raised or lowered based on what happened this year. And usually, once they have a person in there running the meetings, which seems to be the variable. That person is there for a while, so we should be okay here. And for the city, oh, sorry. And for the city of Santa Cruz, that'll be continuing. They're now no longer rotating mayors. We have an elected mayor, which means that the city of Santa Cruz will probably be pretty stable for is it two years or four years? Four years? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay so, so that's so that's, that's always good for us because we can tell what's happening, mm -hmm. and and that that's a nice that's a nice thing. So. Um, a lot of those numbers I lower just to be just to be conservative, um, and uh, and we'll we'll see how that goes. But the good thing about this is that, as you know, we've never not met our budget. So those things balance out. We have so many of them. Some will do more, some will do less, but it always balances out. Um, if this is real wood. Um, and then we let's see what okay then under donations you see a thousand dollars is what we projected and um, six seventy five is what we've actually gotten to date but we have a quarter to go so we may make it but I lowered it just in case and uh, we also have um, interest earned is um, it's a fun it's a it's a little category that we have. We have a couple of CDs and some savings accounts, and that's where that interest comes from. And then we also have Schwab is miscellaneous income, and um, I that's a just a that's a wonderful thing, pretty pretty consistent. And I don't think I uh, production services was four thousand. We usually have four thousand, and we mostly make it. We still have a quarter to go, and we do have a new project that we're doing, and we have the resource center for nonviolence um, that we'll be working with. I lowered that number just to be closer to the um, uh, the real what we've earned so far. But I believe we'll exceed it, but it doesn't hurt us to to have a lower number there. Um, closed captioning because some uh, we the city used to do a lot more time, a lot more hours of meetings. So the the budget for captioning is always correlating with the number of meetings. So when we do more meetings, we spend more for captioning and and we make more. And when we do less, <laughs> we get less. So those two those two are tied together. Um, let's see. Uh, advertising, um, that's a real number for advertising. That's a steady cost. We pay the same amount every month for it. So that's the actual, actual um, for a real year. And let's see. So bank charges went up and that is because more money. So the more people charge, the more they go up. Yeah. And sorry, 
bank charges or credit card charges. Oh, yes. So when people charge things and everybody pays with a credit card. So the more they pay, the more we pay. <laughs> so, so that went up this year, but that is a good thing. Um, let's see. This is uh, the, the, in the interest expense. That is a one-time thing. That's why I changed that um, Tom, cause we had amortized it across the year, but it's really just a one-time charge usually. And, uh, this year we probably won't have any cause before it's all been, it's been the, uh, EIDL and different things that we were paying for that there was interest attached to. But right now Mel says there won't be any going forward because we don't have anything that has an interest that we're paying. So, but we put a little in there, maybe we'll do something and then we'll, we'll have that there. Um, Office supplies, the same thing. We've raised it because we've had a lot of people and um, production expenses we've lowered because we really haven't used it. We've spent in the budget for about five years and we haven't used it yet. This, um, we, we had a huge <laughs> expense. We had to send a big piece of equipment across the country this year. So there was a giant fee for that. So um, I, I, I raised the shipping a little bit, but I, we won't be doing that again, I don't think. So it doesn't match the actuals because that's a one-time weird one-off thing. Um, let's see, printing is the same and facilities expenses are up because there's more people in the in the place. Um, licenses are also a one-time thing. So that's a, that's a hard, it's, they're $78 a year. So, uh, and we know that. Now, here's a fun category, telephone Yes. So in the actual expense. If the uh, actual expense for telephone communication internet is four hundred four dollars a month, then it looks like four thousand seventy three is not enough. I will tell you why it'll be okay. <laughs> um, that I, I went over this with Mel because that's a that's a big jump. And um, I went back and looked through all of our reports for um, most of the year. And I saw the beginning of the year, it was $800 a month, and then it went down to 300 something. So what happened was that was an old account that we closed. And now we're just paying certain things out of that account. So that telephone, telecommunication, internet thing is actually only $400 a month, because that includes um, that that used to have the internet in it and we moved that to capital so now it's just real telephones four hundred four dollars a month mm -hmm. is column d the budget for 24 25 yes yeah so 12 no, 20, no column b is 23 oh b i thought you said d, d. i said d. d oh i'm sorry column d is the, the next year's budget but so if it's 404 dollars a month times 12 is at least 4800 48 so that's what I'm saying. It's not enough. No, I think. I don't think that's right. I let me look at my notes. I, I, okay, isn't I thought I heard you say that the 404 is the actual, but it's less. Yes, because because, because we took the internet out of it. The internet out. So, yeah. So the 404 is. So the 404 is not correct. Yeah. No. Okay. No. That's what it. That's. Well, sort of the actual would be, but the but the internet's no longer in there, so it's now less. Less. Exactly. Sorry. Um, let's see. Now we're at that's that's just such a mystery category. I've always hated that one. You're you're number six six thousand Yeah. Your contract service. Yeah. So that is um the audit we do a compilation every year, and it's always cost fifteen hundred, so that's what's in there. The um, contract services production support I zeroed out because we put money in there every year and we never use it, so I just took it out this year. Um, we don't have C maps. We occasionally Victor will go there and do something, so I leave that line in the budget in case we do, we charge them. We can put it in, but I don't budget for them because. But these are expenses. These are. Contracted services. Oh, that's me. That's the old me. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we could take that out. Yeah. Um, the consulting, uh, we used, we didn't use that much this year, so I lowered it. And we left the legal services the same. We bumped them up last year because we were going to do a lease, which we haven't done yet. So we'll probably do it this year. So oh, yeah. I left that money in there. That's for our attorney. And um, let's see, contract services. Captioning was lower because we're doing less captioning. 
And then the training and conferences. I lowered that because the national conference that we go to is in San Jose. So we don't have to travel. Yay. Yeah, that's a good, that's a nice thing. Um, training and conferences. I always keep a little in there in case Victor wants to go to something or you know something comes up that's cool that we could learn or we want to do a new thing and someone does something about it. So it's in there, but we don't usually use it, but I like to keep it in there because just in case Victor wants to do something, I like to be able to let him. Uh, special events is usually our, our Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving lunch or something like that. And so we always keep uh, a little in there for that. Um, so these salaries, remember, <laughs> for some of us, are not the full thing. Uh, for Victor and me, a little of Mel and a little of Olivia, the, that number, some of that is allowed to go over to capital because we're working on the building or maintaining the building or working on the equipment, or that's the DIVCO rule. So these are not our full salaries. The rest of it is in the capital budget. A little bit. It's like 20%. And that includes uh, that includes four percent raises this year, and also um, for everybody and the technicians as well. And uh, the technician number is the actual number that we spend that and with that we expect to spend this year. The extra help number. So last year, that number was huge um, because we just it's a place where we just put extra things. And last year, that included all the raises that we, I wanted to give raises, and I asked, I asked for a raise, raise and, and so that, 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 that all, all that money was put in that line upon your approval, you guys approved, so, so we don't, don't need to do that, that again. So I took that out. I left a little in, but um, the, the big number, that's why it was such a big number last year, and now it's a little number. Um, payroll taxes, um, they, are, they went up a little bit. I think, up or down, yeah, they went up a bit. Um, workers comp is pretty much, it's a formula that Mel gives me that number. And uh, the, I had a meeting with the insurance guy, so I got the actual real numbers for insurance. And this, so this is a really actual number what we'll pay this year. And the severance vacation payouts is just a pool we keep there in case somebody leaves and actually has vacation, like if Olivia would take off and see we don't work some comp time probably not comp time but um PTO. Uh, pto so we always have a little in there for victor and olivia um and that's it for for this budget do you guys have questions or thoughts or want to run through the capital i will but i just oh, thought cool. you know you, you might forget all about this by the time we get through the capital budget is there anything in here that you think no Okay. Uh, one, one thing. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to say. Sorry. You go ahead and give me this one. Well, I didn't. The facilities and equipment line is so fun. So it was a lot more fun before Tom. But now it's, <laughs> <laughs> now it's more accurate and still fun. So last year, 105. That was what we projected. This year, we actually will will be able to, like with pretty accurate numbers, make 130,000. That's We never made that much. That's amazing. So I'm just really happy about that. I was happier when it was 140, but it's okay. Now, now we'll really reach that number. So I just wanted to point out that that's really good growth for us. Yeah. And it's kind of a growth spurt. And, and we still have room to grow because we haven't filled this yet. And we have someone looking at wanting to rent the whole thing. So we could be in, we, it, we could really, we're going to do great before the end of this year, but next year we will, we'll do really well. So that's what I was going to say. Um, that's all. I think my voice will pick up on yours. So I, I will mute me. Yeah. Uh, there's one, one thing note. she mentioned audits. And we now have permission from the county to do something called a compilation because the audit was going to be about 15,000. So I think we talked about it. But uh, Mel is now going back and looking. Don't mute. Please. Sorry. Anyhow, Mel is going back and we're catching up our compilation. So I was always a little thinking we should stay on top of that and we are now. These are kind of the things that are settling down after the COVID. So it was it's nice to see that happening. So thank Mel. And I apologize if anybody's watching this with me moving my high foot <laughs> being really sick. <laughs> Anyhow, that's all I had to say. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to capital. Yep.
so much fun. Um, capital is the capital's a little bit different. I added in the year to date um, column, and I, I have copies here for you if you want it. I couldn't get it into the budget in time to get it into the packet in time for the Brown Act because I had to do a lot of formulas, and I'm I just have to be careful. So I do have it, and I have it here if you want to know. But these are different because most things in here we don't pay across the year. We pay them once, or there we've allowed a certain amount for something. And we just stick to that. We're not going over it. That's our budget. So it isn't the same as like the light bill that we know is always going to be a certain amount every month. This is just, these are mostly one time or fixed costs. So um, we get uh, money from the county and that is, uh, we get $500,000 um, from peg fees and $100,000 for our grant. And then um, here's how we use it. Uh, the facility lease is, uh, you, you can see there, it goes up 4% every year. And um, this year, we also raised it a little more than that because it we we factored in the new security cost. And so that, so you can see it's more than 4% higher, but that's because of the security. And in under uh, the, the insurance number is the real number. We get the bill every year and we pay it. And I added a little just in case. Um, so that's that's that. The um, improvements that I put ten thousand dollars in there. I usually I used to have twelve, but we've done a lot of the things I wanted to do, so I brought it down. And you know now we heard that there might be termites, so we <laughs> we want it's an old building, and they told us. It's because we water the indoor plants too much, and our indoor plants are big. But um, <laughs> we probably probably shouldn't be watering them so much. So using dry dry water, yeah, dry water. <laughs> so that is an issue we can handle somehow. Um, I put a little. A uh, bit in case we rented some equipment, we always have it tucked in there in case we did a big shoot and we need to rent a crane or something. Actually, we have a crane, but we might rent something. So there's a little money in the budget in case we do. And then, of course, whatever whatever that would be, we'd pay for it. But I like to have it in there so that we have a place to put it. Uh, the copy machine lease is what it is. It's always the same. Uh, equipment repair, same kind of things. Just a little money in case we repair equipment. We generally don't. Um, I, actually, we, we never have. I keep putting $1,000 in there and we haven't repaired anything yet. Um, the, the equipment depreciated just is the kind of, the kind of expense we can, can depreciate and others are things that we don't depreciate. So the, they're the bigger, the bigger items. So we have 34,000 in there, uh, a little less than last year, but we not so much last year. I mean, we had all those things we did to upgrade everything. We're pretty good. One thing we want to maybe do is take a look at updating the control room. But I think this is enough to cover that. Um, the equipment grant program is 100000 every year. Um, the equipment leases, um, that that is, I've got to take that out. But I was afraid to do it because I thought I would goof things up. <laughs> After this, I'll take it out. It is... Money I used to hold just in case we wanted to make an equipment lease and I wanted to make sure we had the money to buy the gear for the person who wanted to lease it. But we can just, we can actually get it right out of our regular depreciated category. So I'm going to take that out. I'll have Mel take it out because um, she can do it safely. Um, software as a service. I know that seems like a lot, but, but uh, it's, all uh, things it's all things we use. It's, 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 it's a million, million things, things we use. Everything costs something. It isn't like a monthly charges. It's usually annual charges. And so they're all over the map when they happen. But um, that that's what it turns out to be. And uh, Mel and I looked at it again this year to see if we could remove anything. And we really didn't think anything we could take out. Uh, telephones. And telecommunications and the internet. This is on the capital side. So that we have two fiber lines now, one for our building generally is just for us to use. And uh, that that is for the technicians in Victor. So they are not using the satellite Wi-Fi. And we don't want satellite to be using the TV Wi-Fi. So we have two separate. And then we have one fiber line that goes to the county building to take off to the head end. So we do have we have a lot of fiber and that's kind of expensive. And um, and we also have telephones. Um, not 
we don't have like eh, telephones. We give a stipend to all of our people who have cell phones who we talk to. So because we call them on their cell phones, you know, if they have data plans, we need to take care of that. So all our technicians, um, me, Victor, Olivia, Mel, everybody has it because we all talk on cell phones. Um, now, this is so tiny. The building maintenance, um, that's, you know, something breaks and we broke it or we have to replace light bulbs or anything like that. There are things that we, we do, mops and brooms and stuff like that. So that's that's the building maintenance number. And it's kind of consistent. Uh, equipment maintenance. Okay, now, oh, wait, wait, that's not right. I'm sorry, that's not right. There are those things, but th this is not that category. These three things under capital maintenance repair, those are, that is where the 20% of our salaries go because we do the work. We fix the things and we repair the building and we we do the repairing of equipment and all of that is um, is us. Then the <clears throat> media licensing is the music library so that um, we don't have to pay for music. And it's really nice music. So I'm happy to use it. Um, any questions or thoughts on any of this? I'll just note the, the reason why we're doing this now is that, so we can get it to the county yes. early um, for them to mm -hmm. make a decision or you know, they want it. So that's what yeah, we're they have doing to approve it. our budget yeah. before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. No, none here. Thank you for a good uh, overview. Any other questions, comments? Tom? Move approval. We have a motion on the floor. Oh, sorry. Yep. Move approval. Second. A motion by Director Mannheim and second by Director Hall to approve the Community Television of Santa Cruz County fiscal year 2024-2025 budget. And let's have a roll call for this. Yes. 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 <laughs> had my sound turned on. <laughs> Good work, I heard her. Okay. Oops. Um, great. Thank you. And thanks, everybody. Um, Becca, for going through that, all that, putting it together, and then um, Finance Committee in particular for looking at it very closely. And it's a good budget, you know, got some growth. I'm trying to, I'm afraid to do it because suddenly everything's disappeared, but you guys and that, and I, oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're back. Oh, that's yeah. what it is. So when I share my screen, I can't see you guys. I can only see my document. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, item number nine. Thanks everybody. So that passes unanimously. Item number nine, education report. Um, if there is one, David's not here, but Keith is. Anything you wish to comment on? Okay. Board chair report, same oh, as, one. oh yes. Uh, Joe. I actually tuned in, I should say it that way, in the AI uh, conversation. And it was pretty impressive. And it was also impressive everybody stealing their way through it. How many people did you have on there? Because you had a ton of questions at the end. Three people. Three. I don't know. I oh, you mean I who was watching? watching? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There were three three guests, of course. Yeah, yeah I know, but I mean, there were questions flowing in. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. off. So I, well, yeah, I thought it was quite interesting, and thank you for doing it. I watched it on um, cable channel. Um, okay, board chair report. Nothing here. Any staff requests, board member requests for next meeting? Um, no. Any announcements? Seeing none, I recognize Director Rand. I move to. I haven't seen her yet. Yes, I could not. Without further ado, I move to adjourn. All right.
All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Thanks for joining us, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. Thanks, everybody. We are adjourned. I think we exhausted ourselves on technology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for going through yeah. the whole crazy setup of computers at the